love children and animals and Quincy and Frank. <laughs> Quincy. <laughs> and uh, that's what's so wonderful about traveling. I get to see all the cultures and people and the children. It's wonderful. It's my greatest inspiration, I would say. Before taking to the stage, Michael Jackson marked his return to Britain with gifts for disadvantaged children. He presented the Variety Club of Great Britain with six coaches. They'll be used to take children from around the country to his other UK shows before being given to schools. I'd like to say uh, children will always hold a special place in my heart. So from Hilda World and myself, I present uh, this present. There's more where this comes from. Thank you. The single greatest achievement of Michael Jackson for charity was co-writing We Are the World which became the American Quincy Jones produced famine relief record. It was the response to Do They Know It's Christmas, Bob Geldof and Mid Jure's project with Band-Aid. When you hear Michael Jackson's demo of We Are the World, you realize that actually that song was probably more than 50% him. I remember waking up from my sleep the next morning uh, before putting it down really. Most of the song was there, and uh, I went in the studio and kind of did a demo and presented it. And first, Quincy asked me to do it with Lionel, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, I remember calling Quincy, telling him I had the tape, and uh, and then Lionel put some lyric to it. And uh, I, I hate saying who did what, well. but Michael. It's now my great pleasure to present you with a check for one million dollars. This represents the money Pepsi-Cola pledges to raise in Europe this summer with our best wishes for Heal the World. It's that one song raised millions. But he and the brothers did other charity work as well. And Save the Children was a charity that they helped. Of course, the brothers would have done more if the value of their endorsement had been as great as Michael. But hardly anybody's endorsement was as substantial as that of Michael. I hardly heard uh, such important people as yourself in this place. And now that uh, you have been here, I feel that uh, this is a real honor indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I shall be undertaking two concerts in June, one in Seoul in the Republic of Korea and one in Munich. And I shall be inviting some of my friends to help me during the shows by performing at either one or both of the venues. He has certainly been my inspiration to want to do something before the end of the century, to undertake what I call an adventure of humanity before the birth of the millennium. I love this man very much, and I love Africa. He's just an amazing person. He's incredible. He really is. I'm not, I'm not saying that just because he's my brother, because if he were an idiot, I'd, I'd say uh, I'm not happy first. with him. <laughs> exactly, just like I did my sister. <laughs> he has made a great contribution to art, to music. And, uh, uh, and I'm very happy that uh, he is in our country. It is my pleasure, it is my honor to be here in South Africa. I love you people very much. I've had the time of my life here. I've had so much fun. I hate to leave. And I'm definitely looking for a, a home here, Dubai, because I would love to spend uh, the rest of my life here. And we are definitely coming in January. And this is a wonderful, lovely man, and I love Nelson Mandela very much. And thank you for all your hospitality and all your love. Thank you very much. You want to take this? Okay. Have you thought of composing a song about our president? Yes, very much. I'm working on it now. When? I was working on it last night. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you very much. I love you. I love you. We know your interest in the sideshow, but in the central issue that confronts 
real people's lives the issue of aids in africa we are grateful to mr jackson for bringing all of your attention to this critical issue we now only hope and we now only pray that you will report that more than a dozen african ambassadors were here who are dying from hiv and aids this is also about help and michael jackson will go to africa on the pacific basis of fighting the scourge of aids and economic development For a man who will have his own child in February, Michael Jackson today described this as the highlight of his Australian tour so far. This is for you. Thank you. I'll sign a picture for you. At the Sydney Children's Hospital, Jackson played Father Christmas a month early. Again, no sign of his new bride, the performer spending two hours inside given special visiting rights to gravely ill children in the cancer ward. Can we get something for her, a toy? The self-styled champion of children dished out thousands of dollars in presents, dolls, toys and computer games. Jackson taking time to play. <coughs> the gifts for some outsizing the patients. How do you spell your name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Clearly enjoying himself, a cameraman stumble proved a good joke. <laughs> but while it was here, the softly spoken star seemed most comfortable, his real performance was at the Opera House. <laughs> a 30-foot high Jackson statue was floated down the harbour, 10,000 fans almost drowning out their idols. Yeah, I love each and every one of you very much. And after a brief appearance, he was gone. As he pleased the fans, his reclusive wife left their Sydney hotel for a flight to Brisbane, hidden in this van. However, after such a high-profile day, Michael Jackson returned to his hotel late this afternoon to pack his bags, slipping through a back entrance. But tonight, Jacko is stuck in Sydney, his private jet to Brisbane grounded by bad weather. <laughs>